Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be playing around with a little bit of makeup. I have a bunch of stuff here in front of me that I have picked up over the past couple of months here and there. Um, some have arrived in my BoxyCharm and some I purchased at Ulta, some I purchased at Sephora or from other online retailers and I'm just going to, I really haven't had a chance to play around with most of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Some of this stuff I have played around with off camera and I will give you I will let you know as I'm applying it if they are if it's a first impression or if I've used it before and what I think. So if you guys are interested in checking out what I have in front of me and my thoughts on these products, then smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's head into the video. Okay, I've zoomed you guys in just a little bit. You can see, as always, I have a couple of acne stuff going on. So, just ignore it. Um, so how's everybody doing? Hmm? February is almost over. That is super exciting. We're heading into March. I cannot wait for the springtime. I cannot wait for new spring launches to be coming out. All color, come back. I'm really excited. I feel like the beauty industry has reached a little bit of a lull over the past like just couple of months. I feel like holidays rolled around and it was like product, 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 and now things have kind of quieted down, which is good on my bank account because I haven't been like, oh my gosh, I want that and that and that and that. But spring is just around the corner. I hope here in New England it is cold and rainy and ugh, I can't wait for some beautiful sun to come back. Some warmer weather would be nice. I'm sure the Midwest can't wait for that too. They've had a really bad winter, but yeah, hopefully good things are a coming. Ugh. So I've moisturized my face. I'm just gonna put on some lip balm. <sighs> Everything is super dry. Really annoying. But yes. So the first thing I'm gonna be trying out now. Some of these products are new to the market. Some of these products are just new to me. So I will let you know as I go along. So the first thing that I'm going to be testing out today is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the Radiance one and it has hyaluronic acid and I have never used this before. So I'm just going to put some on my fingers. And we're just going to put it on the face. I'm going to take my Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer. This is not a new product or a new product to me. I adore this stuff and I'm just going to put it just right there in the center of my face um, where my pores are the biggest. I actually have found that this is my favorite product ever. I've looked for other products because this one is a little pricey. And I wear it every single day with or without makeup. It just really helps kind of smooth everything out. And I really, really like it. Today I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And I've used this a few times. This is in the shade Nougat. Um, and this is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. So I think I'm just going to use this um, to spot conceal. And we'll see what things look like. Um, and if they're too light compared to my skin tone, I'll go in with a very... Um, sheer foundation on top just to even everything out and I have used this oh I love how the applicator feels under the eyes it's very cooling so we're just gonna cover up my flaws yes there we go <laughs> I'm gonna grab a beauty blender and um, I really like this concealer actually. Oh, that's not bad. It's not, it's like a medium coverage, which I really, really like. Um, and this is actually quite a good shade match for me. Maybe just a tad light, but that's all right. It, I forgot though how quickly that it dries. So I may get to my under eyes and we may be stuck. So let's hope that that's not the case. Okay. All right. So next we're going to move to powder and I'm just going to quickly 
powder my face. I'm going to go in with the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder in the shade Original. I'm just going to go into these giant puffs. Okay, I'm just going to dump some in here. And to grab this brush, I'm going to powder it. And then just powder. Under eye, and then go around and just loosely, I mean, lightly, just powder everything. I'm actually gonna grab another brush, this brush right here. I'm just grabbing that. This is um, the Sephora Airbrush number 55. Just Swiveling it around. It looks good. Okay, I need to add some color back into my face because we are looking a little white. Ugh. Not that that's a bad thing. White is not white. But, alright. So next I'm going to grab this pretty vulgar bronzer. I got this in my boxy charm. I'm going to try this and it's nice. It's a little warm, so I think I will like it a little bit more in the summertime, but right now it's the only new bronzer I have, so I'm going to play around with it. It's in the shade Bronze B120 Sunkissed Snitch, and this is by Pretty Vulgar. So I'm lightly just going to go all over the face with this, just to add a little bit of life into my face, all over, and then I will concentrate this in the areas where I want more bronziness. Alright. So what's everybody's current favorite makeup product? I'm curious as to what mine is. Hmm. I think it's my Tarte Clean Slate Was it Smoothing Primer Base. Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. Because I love that stuff. It really does cover up my pores. It, just, it really just smooths them out. All right, so we have some color coming back to my skin. Let's add just a little bit more on the cheeks. Maybe we'll do a little bit on the nose. This is a very nice color. I really do like it. Okay, let's just do a little nose contouring. So has everybody been watching? Has anybody watched you? And if so, what do you think of it? I feel like everybody's been watching it. What's your favorite TV show of all time? I think, well, Friends is definitely my favorite TV show, but what's your favorite, like, new TV show? Let me know. I'm curious. I love TV. I love watching TV. I think I, if I could, I, I would probably list that as a hobby. Watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I decided to finish up my face first, because usually I do eyes. But we'll go back to blush. Let's just get into eyes. So, for my eyeshadow base, it was literally right here in front of me. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty... Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer Base. And I've tried this a bunch of times. Um, the first time I tried it, I was kind of like, mm, I'm not going to like this because it's really sheer. But I actually really like it. Um, I think it works really well. I just dab on the smallest amount and I spread it out on my finger. 
and I feel like the shadows are amplified like the color looks better I feel like it helps everything last longer and I like that I can put it on before my face products or after and because there is no shade like there's no color to it it doesn't mess with anything so now I'm just gonna set it with my setting powder and I just set it to where it's no longer tacky some people don't set their they, um, their eyeshadow primers but I have been and I enjoy doing that so next I'm gonna go in with this guy right here and this is one of the Huda Beauty liquid eyeshadows. And this is the Matte and Metal Melted Shadows by Huda Beauty. And this is in the shade Bubble Bath and Pink Champagne. So when I first saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, I am so intrigued by these. Because as you guys know, whoever watches my channel, I love the Stila Magnificent Metals. And I love the Glitter and Glows and the Shimmer and Glows. I love, I love liquid eyeshadows. I think they're so cool. Um, especially good ones. I think they're so cool. So when these came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get my hands on them. I want to try them out. And then I watched a bunch of reviews. And there's a lot of mixed reviews about there. There's a lot of mixed reviews out there about these, this item. And I feel like the general consensus was that the deeper shades were more, a little more difficult to work with, or there was a little bit of a learning curve um, with working with them, but the lighter shades worked like a dream or work much easier. So I decided to pick up one of the lighter shades. Um, I had already intended on picking up one of the more neutral shades because I think this is a great, easy, on-the-go product. So I wanted a product, a shade, that would be for an easy, on-the-go look. And I work in a law firm, so fluorescent green or bright red don't really say office, you know? So I wanted something easy that I could just pop on wherever and go to work. So I got this shade and I've got to say I love it. So you're going to see right now how easy it is to work with, but I love it. So I'm going to zoom you guys in just a tad and we're going to work on the eyes. Okay, so get ready. This is going to be good. It's going to be so good. All right, so what I do is I just grab a brush and what I do is I open up the matte shade and like Huda says, just put a couple of dots right on, right on my crease, okay? So I just do like just like two dots and then I just hurry up and I blend it usually all over the eyelid and then into the crease and boom it's there all blended in i know it's a little hard to see because of the shade but it is so there and it makes a great base um and on my skin tone it's one of those shades where it's very close to my skin but it's just a little bit it's definitely pinker and so it you can tell that it's definitely there but it's not like too much okay so there it is blends out so beautifully it dries really quickly I've been using this every morning and I love it so now let's add a little bit of oomph to it. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Moroccan Spice Palette. This is it right here. And I have been showing this palette some love. Been showing it a lot of love because I have been in love with this palette. So first I like grabbing a crease brush. And I like going into the crease with this shade right here. It's just nice, like a nice salmon color. 
I'm just like buffing that on top um, of the liquid shadow that you put down. You're going to grab the top white shade right there, just a little bit of it, and just put it underneath the brow. Add a little shimmer. Okay. Next, we're going to dip into this shade down here. And we're just going to dust that in the outer corner. This palette, I am loving. I'm going to bring that in. Okay, then we're going to go into this like purpley shade. Add a little bit more. Just in the outer corner. And also. Once that liquid shadow is down and it's dry, that's it. Like you're all set to go over it, to do whatever you want, it is dry. So we'll go back in for the lower lash line, but that's all I'm doing for the top. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna dip into the other side of this liquid eyeshadow. This is pink champagne, and this is the glitter sh shade. And look, look at this glitter. Isn't that so pretty? So from this little swatch that I made, I'm just gonna dab my finger in and I'm going to press it on the lid. Just to give it a little glitter, shimmer, fairy dust, if you will. So if you just go in at it that way, look at how like, it's just a sheer, like, oh, this is full pigment, but the, it's just, if you just dab it on, you see that? It's just a sheer glitter. What people also like doing is grabbing it as is. And I'm gonna show you what that'll look like if you do it that way. And you just go in. You create kind of like a cut crease. So you put it down and then you open your eye all the way and you see what the highest point it is that it touches. You just fill it in a little bit. See, and then you have like a bigger impact. So you can do this on this side too. It down. I'm gonna open my eye all the way. See where the highest point it touched. Fill it in. And that's it. Beautiful glitter. And if you wanted to, you can fill them out more. You can do whatever you want. But you see this? Very cool. Very, very cool product. Really digging it. All right, so that's it for that eye portion. Um, now, let's talk about the Fenty Fly Liner. I purchased this with a set during the holidays, at the Fenty Beauty, um, the Moroccan Spice Palette. It came, so it came with the Moroccan Spice Palette, the eyeshadow primer, the Pro Filter, yeah, the Pro, Pro Filter Primer, two brushes, and the fly liner. And I really like this fly liner. When I put it down, it does not budge. The only thing is, while I'm lining my lash line, if it happens to touch my lashes, it makes them hard. Like, it, I don't know if I'm explaining this right or if people already get what I'm saying right off the bat, but it really, it like coats the lashes. And if it coats the lashes, it, it doesn't allow my lashes to like curl properly, if that makes any sense. So when I put this on, I try not to touch my eyelashes and it doesn't always work. But I'm gonna line a little bit. I do really like it. It dries really quickly and it's really black but it really does mess with the way that my mascara applies to my lashes. Looks pretty cute. So I'm actually gonna grab a couple dabs of this on my lower lash line and we're just gonna smoke it out. Woo, got my lashes in there. Oh. 
Wow, I actually really like what that did to my lower lash line. I feel like it just erased my <laughs> it just erased my lower lashes. Do you feel that too? Really strange. But whatever, it makes me look youthful. Think of like not putting anything on my lower lashes, just keeping it like really top heavy and kind of open in the bottom. What do you guys think? I like that idea. Never mind. I like it. <laughs> Maybe I'll even like put a tiny bit of like the glitter shadow in the inner portion. I'm going to curl my lashes. And we're gonna hit it. Hit them with some mascara. I'm gonna have today is actually the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. I got this in my BoxyCharm, and it's a little liquidy for me, but it's all right. Like it's not my favorite mascara. All right, now let's move over to brows. And I bought these two products. From Urban Decay. I'm sure you guys have seen them anywhere, everywhere, anywhere. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade, and this is the Urban Decay Brow Endowed. So this is the one that has the pencil on one side and the felt tip pen on the other side, and this one has the clear brow, brow gel on one side and the colored brow gel on the other side. And I got this one in Brunette Betty and this one in Free Row. Riru? No. There's like a sticker on this. Is the sticker supposed to... Okay, so I peeled the sticker off and there's nothing underneath it. Alright. Anyway, this is like V for the red redheads. And this is medium brown. And to be honest, I think these are both not my correct shade. Because I have dark brown hair that I often dye like red. A deep red or a like it, like a plum shade sometimes. And I'm trying to find a really deep, but very warm brown. And I feel like ones for redhead are usually more of like a ginger colored shade, like a cinnamon shade. So they're a little, they're too light and the browns are too cool tone. So I'm still in the market for a really, actually I did, I found one from Ulta, like this one right here. This is the shade that I want. It's not the perfect product, but it's the perfect color. So if anybody's watching, make like a rich, warm color like this, please. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to, I'm not like a brow whiz by any means. So what I do is I just use, what I do is I use the pen actually to draw in strokes. Kind of wish I had bought this in the darker shade. Maybe like two shades darker even. I really like these products though. So I use the pen and I'll draw them in like so and then I'll grab the pencil and I'll kind of just shape a little bit like so and then I'll go in with the clear brow gel which is the primer and I will comb through it. Kind of helps everything mesh. And then I go in with the color. And actually what I like about having two different shades is that it kind of creates like, like highlights and lowlights, which is good because it 
makes my brows pretty multi-dimensional. So that is that for the brows. Be very careful where the brow gel touches because this stuff is no joke. It really isn't. It's, it's very hard to get off. All right, so those are my brows. I think they look pretty good. That's just me. All right, next um, for blush, I'm going to dip into this guy right here. And this is by Wander Beauty. And this is the Wondrous Dusk to Dawn Blush and Highlighting Palette. And this I got in a boxy charm. And I'm going to just dip into both shades. Very nice, very nice. Now for some highlighter, I'm going to be dipping into this Ofra. Oh, that has a little bit of shimmer in it, I like it. This is the Ofra Midi Palette Spiced Velvet. This is, has three of their very popular shades. It has, no, oh, here we go. It has, if I'm looking at it this way, I'm really bad at this, okay? I'm really bad at this, I've been told. But it has Star Island, Bali, and Blissful. I know that this is Bali. I want to say, is this Blissful or is this Blissful? I don't know, okay? So it has like a more ice one, a bronze, and like a rose gold one. So I'm going to dip into the rose gold one with this fan brush. I'm just going to do highlight the cheeks. Oof. And seriously, I love Ofra highlighters. Very pretty. I love them. They don't emphasize your pores, your, your texture, and they look so beautiful. And I'm actually going to grab this light shade, and I'm going to spritz my brush, and I'm going to pop that into my inner corner. So pretty. Okay, actually, I'm going to pop that like white, almost white shade. Mm. So pretty. I, re oh, I really love it. Okay. So, just gonna tone that down a bit. Alright, so I'm gonna spray my face, and this is not new or high end. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and I love this stuff. The mist on it is so light you can't even feel like you're you don't even feel like you're spraying yourself until you like touch your clothes and you're like doused it smells lovely mm, feels lovely i love it so last but certainly not least we're just going to finish up with some lips and i'm going to be using this huda beauty demi matte cream lipstick in the shade shao and I'm going to be going in with these two lip liners, also by Huda Beauty, one in the shade Spice Girl and the other in the shade Vixen. So I'm going to take the shade Vixen and I'm just going to pop that in the very far end. Now I'm going to grab the shade Spice Girl. Okay. I'm going to grab the lipstick. And there you have it. 
So this is the final look using all new products. I've tried the Huda Beauty liquid product, Huda Beauty lip products before and I love them. Um, the lip liners are very soft and creamy and I really, really like them. And the demi mattes are very comfortable. Sometimes I forget that they're even on. I bought myself like four different, five, six of them. I really like them. Um, they do come up darker than they look. I feel like they look much lighter than what comes out of the tube. Granted, I did add a different shade with it, but just in general, I feel like it looks lighter than it comes out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please leave me a thumbs up. If you did, give, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Say, hey, what's going on? If you have any questions, you can leave them down there and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, I think that's it. Check out my other videos. Come back for more. Click the little bell so you get notified every time I post something new on YouTube. And yeah, thank you so much for sticking around and playing with me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.